God's way of training you is preparation. But what most people do is, see, once you get stressed, you don't want that no more. So now you give up, you threw. Nobody likes stress because some people just let they self go. But you got to, in order to develop and to change and to grow, stress is necessary. So you got to be willing to go get it every day. There's a story my father told me all the time. Now I've heard it several different ways. He said, son, he said, every morning on the plains of the Eastern Serengeti Desert, there arises a gazelle that realizes that he was run faster than the fastest lion, or he will be eaten and he will die that day. On that same desert arises in the morning a lion that realizes that he must run faster than the fastest gazelle, or he will starve and he will die that day. He say, son, the moral of the story is, no matter who you is, when you wake up in the morning, you needs to be running. And so what he taught me was a work ethic of, of how to work in order to get to where you want to go. You got to put yourself under some stress though. See, stress is necessary. God is a trainer. This is what I have learned about it. And all I can tell you is, you know, how I got to be who I am. That's all I can share with you. I got no other stories for you. See, I'm a seed, I really am. I, see, but a seed has to be planted. A seed got to have dirt put on top of it. If you take a seed and throw it on the concrete and walk off, the sun just burn it up. But guess what? Logically, in my mind, it doesn't make sense that to grow something, you should dig a hole, put it down in there, and cover it with dirt. Logically, that don't make no sense to me. But oh no. See, dirt is necessary for growth and development. Dirt builds character. Dirt, dirt gives you the push through factor. Dirt makes you come with it when you don't feel like coming with it no more. And you get dirt in a lot of different ways. All of y'all that had dirt thrown on you. And dirt ain't always what you want. Is somebody talking about you down on your job? Is somebody accusing you of something that you didn't do? Is somebody telling you you ain't going to make it? Is somebody sharing information about you that ain't true? That everybody get dirt put on. But see, when you're getting put under that stress, please know God is always working. God is always working, so I smile. Because I know he back there. See, that dirt builds character in you. When they talking about you, it teaches you to withstand it. Then it gives you something to push through. So when you put the seed and you put the dirt on it, if you understand stress, stress really ain't just dirt. See, they don't call it dirt when they plant it. They call it soil. Because see, soil has nutrients in it. What the nutrients, when people talking about you, dogging you, lying on you, backbiting, stealing from you, talking about you, they're actually putting nutrients in you. If they put a camera under the ground, you'd have seen the seed sprout open and start coming through the dirt because the dirt is necessary so you can prove yourself. Everything you see above ground that blossoms and plants and grows and that's beautiful, it was underground one time. All them potatoes, collard greens, they was underground one time. Them apple trees, they was underground one time. So they had to prove themselves. See, you want to be successful, well then you got to prove yourself. You got to push through the dirt. You got to come up through here. You got to come out. Then you sprout and then Bishop say, then you become a tree. Next thing you know, you got fruit. So when you under stress, take the stress for what it is. Don't get fooled. Don't just think, I oh, don't look, man, Lord must not mean for it to be. What you tripping for? What you talking about? How you think you're going to be a plant, a tree, a flower, a bush, and ain't no stress? How you going to get to be that without no dirt? I expect people to talk about me. Matter of fact, I look forward to it now. Do your thing, because if I can weather what happened to me and my family earlier, you can bring whatever you got now. There's some more stuff going around now that's about to happen. Bring it. Because now I have developed a character that is stress. I have 
soil, enough dirt on me that has provided me with nutrients? Do you realize that every day you thought you weren't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? All you got to do is start changing the way you think. It's as simple as, it's not a magic trick. You can protect yourself from negativity. And that's what stops most people, negative thoughts. You can coat your mind from negativity. It's a real simple exercise to do. I do it every morning before I walk out the door. So I walk out as a positive person. You know, I get tired sometimes. That's different from being negative. Because I get mentally drained from my job at times. But to coat your mind from negativity, the way you can put a coating around your mind is with one simple thing, gratitude. Gratitude erases negativity. I'm going to show you how this works. If you wake up in the morning and you start having negative thoughts, they just say, yeah, I'm all this time. I'm tripping. I just don't feel myself. Every time you feel, in the middle of the day, if you feel yourself doing that, stop. Just stop for a second. 